guys, it is noon on the 29th and I just got a call from the OB's office, um, the one that I've been seeing. It's not my reproductive endocrinologist, but um, this is the, the new people that I've been seeing. And they got the results back on my progesterone test that I got done yesterday and it turns out I did not ovulate, which is so frustrating. They said that I, you know, I mean, I so I took Clomid cycle days um, five through nine, like I normally did with my RE, which I always responded to had a nice big follicle on with, with that. So, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know why I didn't ovulate. Um, the pills do expire in December, so I wonder if maybe that has something to do with it, but I don't know. Um, so I have to, an appointment tomorrow morning at 11.15 with the... OB to talk about what to do from here. Um, I did have high, you know, high insulin in my system, so I'm guessing what he's going to do tomorrow is want to start me on metformin. I'll try it. Um, I didn't want to try it before, but the fact that I have high insulin in my system makes me think I probably should just give it a go. Um, so, yeah, no ovulation, which is just stupid. I mean, I've always ovulated with Clomid, and I just don't know. I don't know, it just feels really weird when they were like, you didn't ovulate. I was like, what? Whatever, what's new? I don't ovulate normally, so. Um, yeah, <sighs> he jumps on my lap, and uh, he's so sweet, but he jumps on my lap, and he uses his claws, and I'm not wearing like long pants so his claws just go right into my leg anyway um I obviously look as shitty as I feel <laughs> I <laughs> this is my little one-eyed kitty my little daughter daughter the camera so so okay. anyway <laughs> um I just I'm so sick and um I uh to not feel like, like getting ready for this video so you get what you get but yeah I'm super I'm really like frustrated that I didn't ovulate because that just possibly means that the clomid I have um, it's either the clomid that I have isn't effective or that my body's not utilizing it anymore and that sucks because Clomid, I mean, it's just like the, the cheaper, easier way to go about it. And um, if I don't ovulate with that, what am I going to do? I mean, Femera, I guess I could try Femera. I can't even talk. Like, you probably can't even understand what I'm saying when I say Femera. Because my stupid nose is so stuffy. But, I don't know, guys. If any of you, have any of you ever, like, been on Clomid and then had it not work after it's worked? I don't know. It was just so weird to me. <sighs> But anyway, so yeah, tomorrow morning at 11.15, we're going in and talking to them about where to go from here. Zach's going to go with me, which is going to be really nice because he is, like, going to town, huh, Sasser? Um, he, uh, he's going to go with me tomorrow, and uh, hopefully that'll be kind of nice to have him there with me because he never goes to doctor's appointments with me. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um... Sorry for the bad news. It was too bad, too, because I was going to test today or tomorrow or the next day to see if I was pregnant. And um, I didn't ovulate, so I guess that's not going to happen. Um, Alright, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow after my appointment. And maybe Zach will be in the video. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys.